Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. It's underscore gain two back again. <sighs> Very much thanks for the people watching the video and also commenting and making the vibe coming out from this area which is uh, from Nyabuhansi. The content is always coming. Keep it in touch, keep it locked. It's underscore Gintu back again. And here with the vlogs of today, gonna be a fantastic moment ever possible. And today, I wanna be starting with this position here, guys. Wow. We have a very small pathway, and it's a very dangerous area that even no one is protruding to this position. Look at where. Where is this water running to? Some clean, some very dirty. Look at this. Here it's very dirty, here it's a little bit cleaner. And this is the pathway. So guys, I'm standing at one of the biggest ponds that are located in Nyabuhansi. And I'm going to be showing you live live. This is the biggest dam we ever have and to here in Nyabuhansi. And uh, I can just talk about uh, it's one of the incredible ever possible coming out. Guys, uh, in a little bit history, I've been ever taking some fish from this uh, uh, kind of a, 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 it's like a dam, a little bit, but uh, we're going to be having, a, a, it was a little bit smaller some days ago. It was just reaching where you can even see we have a little bit of a brim. It was cutting until that far end. It's approximately 150 meters into this position. And I was the only gigantic person who was only fishing from this uh, dam here and uh, it has been segmented into a little bit uh, we can talk about uh, uh, we have a river flowing from nyabuhanse live life so we have a river coming from nyabuhanse which is uh, making its own sediments into this position before water comes to the dam so that's why i was just showing you we have a pathway into this position but it's not covered like a curvet it's only you have to enter inside here and go to the other part uh, of uh, this uh, dam so this place guys uh, it's a uh, very very deep from this position because uh, this kind of a dam it was dark while i was here and i was the person who was uh, fishing uh onto this uh, uh, dam but by now you can never even have uh, a restriction uh, it's area it, this area is restricted you can even see the fence is all over so there's no one who is just accommodated onto this uh, fish uh, it's not a fish pond i've just ever day come to talk about a fish pond so this is a very big dam so, and to this position, it's where the segments are just placed, and to this area. So, from this position, that's why you can even see water is a little bit uh, very dirty. And uh, whenever it's coming from air-wise, or I talk about um, from uh, every section, because uh, we have some, uh, uh, talk about small seasonal uh, rivers that uh, do come into this position. But we have, uh, uh, the main one is from Nyabuhanse, which is, uh, uh, we have uh, Nyabuhanse at Ayamaja, uh, called about Maja KE. They have uh, a swampy area and to their position that's where water is coming and this is the spot that uh, that swamp is bringing water into this position from Nyabuhansi. for a little recap guys uh, this uh, uh, area i uh, can just speak about uh, i can just take a little bit walk around it uh, and i can just talk about uh, it's uh, it was constructed in 1952 via uh, the i don't know the colonies Talk about the colony 1952 my father told me that one because my father is a little bit aged by now and uh it's very delicate even uh, the way you can even see the people are not uh, just uh, into this position it's already first because uh, it was very delicate we had uh, guys uh, small boys they were coming to uh, swim here they were coming for like uh, we talk about um, uh, competition uh, let me now swim from this position to the other one. So it was segmented during that time before rehabilitation. It was segmented into two. We had uh, a lower part and uh, a deeper part. So into that position, the deeper part is this front yard. But onto this area here, it was a little bit uh, uh, shallow. And uh, more of the guys have ever died coming from this uh, dam, guys. I'm telling you this as a fact. Because uh, even the government saw it's now very del delicate to the people and uh, people are just coming here without swimming gears. Uh, but uh, whenever I was just doing the fishing, I had my own local motorboat. Not only had uh, a motor, but uh, I used, uh, it's called uh, uh, plantain, the plantain stem. 
I was just using that one and also I was using like uh, uh, the jerry cans, 20, 20 liters jerry cans and I tied them there very, very comfortably. Then I swim. I was swimming with it from that far end until there was, because it's 150 meters. Wow. So guys, uh, today gonna be a history, a little bit remembrance and uh, yeah, we have people who are guarding this position so as uh, they don't tamper with the source of water because uh, unto this area, this is where water is being pumped from uh, and we get water from this position to be reallocated to Nyabuhanse and also we have uh, uh, Gitriba uh, where the sister of Gitriba, where they had funeral, it's just a little bit from this position and uh, even the history entail guys, uh, I removed here fish until they chased me that's the real fact about that one because uh, this is the uh, the dam that inspired me to venture into fishing because uh, uh the ancestral people uh whenever the government uh, uh, uh brought here some of uh, the fish we talk about uh, uh, small fish which are the fingerlings they brought here 10,000 uh, fingerlings and also it was uh, in 1994 and also they brought catfish which were 3,000 catfish they placed them onto this uh, dam. And a little bit here, I can just speak this way. Uh, by now, we have a little bit of, uh, the fish now are bigger and they're now called wild fish. They're now like tilapia, but wild. If uh, somebody can ever see a wild one, it's not a little bit slim. It's um, uh, onto the stomach here, it's a little bit uh, wider. So uh, it's called uh, a wild fish, but a tilapia wild fish. So they are the mostly that are just here because uh, uh, the, uh, uh, we have uh, much of uh, uh, the catfish which have been subjected unto this position and they are now eating the fish. So whenever the construction was or the rehabilitation was being done, uh, once uh, this place no one could ever see from uh, that far end until this far end here. But uh, by now you can even see the whole uh, uh, dam, how it's now looking like. But it's a small dam, not a, a bigger one that can even produce uh, electricity. But it can produce electricity, but it's not framed onto that. Uh, so as it can bring electricity from this position, because of the governance, we can never do, uh, we can ever, uh, do with that. But uh, if they want to have electricity coming out from this position, I'm going to show you the real position where they can just have electricity coming out uh, from this position. But uh, by now, uh, it's just using water for domestic uh, purposes and uh, by now I'll show you the solar system and everything like that. So by now guys, I want to invest in this uh, dam because we have uh, shallow places like at the edges of uh, the, the dam and uh, that far end, at that far end we have uh, that place is a little bit not so deep like uh, this section here. This is the deepest area ever possible. This is the deepest area where I'm just standing from this position. It's the deepest area because I've ever fished onto this uh, dam. And we have uh, some tree logs. We have tree logs, uh, like uh, three of them. And uh, one is at that far end. Another one is at this middle edge, but this upper section where I am and onto this area. So we have uh, a very big logs. Whenever I was coming here with a fishing net, I had a problem. Sometimes I, I was just passing through, uh, it was a, of a pulling net, not of a, it was like a, a, a net passing. So whenever I was coming from that far end to this position, I was getting a little bit fish. But whenever I come from that upper area, coming to this uh, uh, area here, it was, I was getting a lot of fish. So by now, it's uh, now under control of the government that during that time, no one could just be bothered with you. You can just come, even I placed here market. During that time, guys, it was the best. Whenever I could have uh, the opportunity of getting YouTube, I could have been showing you more about uh, uh, how the fishing was progressed. I had very gigantic people, like uh, 10 people, uh, five at this position and five at that position, pulling the net via use of the ropes. If the net is onto that far end, the rope passes from there onto this where I'm just standing here. And uh, some people will pull onto this position, other ones will pull at that edge. So as the net will be coming out. Even right now you can even see water is uh, having some spots. So it means that we have more much fish onto this position right now here. So by now it's like... Uh, 
we can have a little bit of a harvest but uh, it's a rainy season now it's a very very dangerous whenever you just spot yourself going inside here because it's so deep right now even the edges are onto the brim hey bro wagwan ukofiti wagwan so that's how guys are uh, the position is taking so this is uh, called uh, an outlet now and uh, we have so much water coming out it's uh, due to unconditional circumstances you can just speak about that one because uh, you can even produce electricity with use of this water wow even we have some birds here they're coming here to see if uh, they can get uh, uh, maybe something to eat so sometimes we have some fish and catfish passing through this area wow wow so this is an outlet look at how it's just located so it's it was a uh, stone pitched and uh, onto this position so as uh, it cannot go with the uh, soil erosion and something like that so uh, we have a concrete onto this position it was concreted then uh, stone pitched from inside here and that's how water is coming so whenever it's coming from that far end i showed you uh, it's coming from nyabuanse that's how it's penetrating to this position same same wow and we have a huge amount of water coming out. Look at this. So, uh, so that's how water is now penetrating from this position. Wow, I like this. Huge, awesome amount of water is coming out. I like this. Wow. There's a, due to maintenance and the governance, we could have electricity because uh, it's a, a, a sloppy area. From this position, it's just turning onto that area. So we have a, uh, they were talking about uh, we have uh, millions of liters of cubic of water onto this area. So we can even use uh, this one. But uh, if we get a little platform from this, we're going to generate electricity from this area. Even Nyabuanse can even have electricity. But uh, due to finance and also having a good agenda uh, to our people who are just to the government. So the only thing they are talking about is stocking here some fish. But uh, it will be a mess because already we have fish stocked here and we have a uh, wild fish stocked here and uh, there are so many. Maybe one day I might be coming here during the daytime so as I can even show you uh, the little, uh, we talk about uh, uh, the, uh, we have uh, fries, we have uh, fingerlings and also we have uh, uh, post fingerlings. There are more much whenever even people are coming to uh, wash some clothes here uh, whenever I was fishing guys people used to wash some clothes inside here and uh, we had more much of fish coming to eat the soaps such kind of the detergent here so there were so many so before it was restricted and the fence was just placed <sighs> by now everything is now cool it has been like a three years since uh, it was uh, renovated so by now I've never come here to seek or to see if the fish are there but uh, even if you have ever seen videos of uh, me performing from my home, I have nets that uh, my dogs are just sleeping outside at my home. So those nets, I always use them in terms of fishing from this fish pond. Well, not a fish pond, from this dam. It's a little bit bigger than a fish pond. So I was talking about uh, me investing in this uh, uh, dam, guys. Um, a little bit. I'm going to invest in this uh, dam soon because uh, uh, I see the opportunity is unto us. If we can just use that opportunity, we're going to be having a very good time coming out from this position because uh, I can have a cage. And uh, whenever you want to rear some fish, uh, they need uh, not a restricted, very restricted area, but uh, a deep. We go with the uh, cubic or the ratio, cubic meters, the volume ratio of water. It's what we need, not the area. Exactly. So, uh, and to my fish ponds there, 
uh, the area is bigger but uh, in terms of volume water it's a little bit uh, a problem and uh, that's why we have uh, small fish this is the this is the tower this is where uh, water is pumped from so as uh, uh, this area is the deepest guys uh, i was fishing even the this uh, dam was not even reaching here it was reaching where you can even see those big big stuffs they are whenever i dip myself here it's done whenever i just I try any like a two steps from um, the the shore i'm done if you don't know how to swim you are done guys I, i'm a best swimmer but i've never performed it uh, to this position here whenever i was uh, getting some fish from here i was the best swimmer even they know me and also i was the only person whenever uh, you know whenever we are pulling 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 the the, the we talk about um, uh, uh, the ropes sometimes it uh, it's just uh, got uh, uh, it's cut so you can find it uh, maybe it has rot a little bit so you find it uh, maybe the net was in the in the middle so uh, the rope has cut so what do you do you just uh, swim in then you go and get the net then you tie the rope again then people pull it out guys uh, this one uh, what is pumped from and to the main tower which is just there and uh, i'm just going to turn around so as i can show you where now whenever that water is pumped where it's going and how the villagers have benefited from this program of the government of uh, getting water because uh, more of even animals have been dying into this position they come and fight into this area so you find out uh, uh, they're just going in in they fight going in and you find uh, an animal is lost that way so it decided that uh, it has to reallocate or uh, make this area more privately and uh, reallocate all the staffs outside they're gonna be going outside there so as i show you or which kind of uh, the uh, the program is uh, uh, being prehended unto this uh, uh, use of this dam which is the water which is more perfect and also i was talking about uh, having uh, a cage i want to be placing a cage onto this middle stage here so as i can rear some fish because uh, most of the guys who are rearing some fish are from the lake so if they are just rearing uh, fish from the lake, even me, I can rear here fish and it will be having uh, much security. Even right now, no people are just fishing here, but we'll get uh, some hooks attached at the segments. And I was talking about we have some small fish. I see them here, very small ones. There are so many. There are so many guys, there are so many. So I'm gonna be taking a little bit uh, a look. I'm gonna be going round and I show you the program that uh, the government saw, which will be more beneficial to the people than fish. But uh, they have a program of uh, they wanna be allowing people to come and fish uh, at a time because uh, they wanna be opening. But by now we have more fish, guys. I've been fishing here. I've been fishing here. But one day, I'll show you how I'm just fishing onto this fish uh, and uh, talk about uh, the dam and it's gonna be very, very punctual. Wow. Most of the guys uh, might be thinking, oh, why I'm just uh, walking this pathway here. Guys, uh, this pathway was not here. During 1952, the history entails that uh, this area was a swampy area. And whenever it was a swampy area, water was coming out daily. And uh, it was, uh, you can even see that river and that position down there. I'm going there, so you will just relate it. This area was a swampy area. And uh, it had uh, what's called uh, that swampy where now, whenever you just uh, stamp this way, it's going down and up. So this area was that way. So it was called a swampy or a spongy swampy area. So the government saw an opportunity and they started uh, we have uh, uh, an area up there where they just dug some of the soil and they heaped here so this soil was heaped this dam was not uh, was not dug guys this dam is natural that way the only thing is done is rehabilitation but uh, it was not dug the only thing they did they came and blocked onto this area it was a uh, it was like a, a uh, a valley a valley like so from the upper from this upper so they come and join at the middle so this middle area was uh, a swamp so this dam was a swamp 
So whenever they came and heaped here some of the soil and they compacted it very heavily, 1952. So that's why even now I'm just passing here and it's a very hard place, compacted up to down there. So that's how it was developed. And the water started accumulating and the other water is coming from Nyabuanse accumulating onto the, onto the, uh, this dam. So that's how uh, this dam has evolved to be a dam. It's a historical dam. It was not dug. The position I was talking about, we have tree logs inside here. It means that it was a natural and trees were here. Exactly. So let me take a little bit look from this position. So as a... I can show you where this water is running to and uh, the program that's uh, being practiced by the government and to this position. This is where the road is for civilians. Wow, fantastic. So we're gonna be getting from uh, nowhere to somewhere. So it's being destroyed a little bit via water. We have to bear with the circumstance. This water is running, but whenever we have much rain, fish do pass here. Even right now, we have some small fish which are trespassing to the river. And uh, wow. This is the pathway for the pedestrians who want maybe to pass to pass via the other area. They're not allowed to pass through inside here because it's more restricted and uh, they have to pass through outside here. And from this position here, it was compacted until where I was uh, uh, just walking and to that position. It's called uh, uh, a dike. Wow. This is where guys are. Uh, this area was joining so this was a valley that uh, was uh, getting water from that position accessing onto this area and going out whenever we have a uh, heavy rains like uh, uh, whenever it rains mostly we have much water coming out from this position so even uh, into this area they have just planted some grass so as they can control erosion uh, from a uh, uh, destroying the pond uh, talk about uh, destroying uh, this dam and uh, we have much water coming from the dam and uh, we have some small springs that uh, brings water from uh, the dam because uh, uh, it, it it must have a leakage guys water always water has a leakage so we have a small river here that uh, it's coming water is coming out from the dam this one and it's very very clean look at this very clean very clean wow so we have water coming from this position and whenever it rains uh, extra water gets a, a, a position of coming in so look at this position it's totally a swampy position so this is where water is even coming out look at this wow. so this is where water is coming from so this was the wettest area from uh, the dam. So this is where the dam was now coming to join in the ancient time before the construction. So I want to be now reaching where we have uh, more of the project performed. Wow. They have some drainage that uh, should not have water coming to this position so we're gonna be taking that route to the river direct wow so guys uh, now to this position this is called a clutch and uh, it was called uh, what's the name where 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 animals are come to to be sprayed so this is like a clutch and a spring zone. So people have searched for fire with your <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is called Kenya. Wow. Look at this. Wow. 
This is where animals are stepping. Fantastic. I'm not going in because uh, of security purposes here. And we have uh, much of, uh, you can never talk about whatever is inside here, you can never know, but uh, it's very toxic. This is where they just uh, uh, put uh, chemicals and uh, animals are passing through this position, going out. So it's from that area, passing through that position this way and going out. So we have some animals grazing alongside this position. Don't know if it's more safer. This is the cow assembly whenever you have like uh, these cows here they want to be sprayed or uh, they want to be hipped inside here this is the cow assembly and uh, uh, they are now put into this position and they are now squeezed from this area here and they're squeezed to do this position so we have a little bit of uh, it's not man man maintained guys and uh, look at this position so we have like a, a channel that uh, the cows are uh, uh, driven inside to pass through that channel and uh, it has uh, what's called uh, uh, some fungicides which are, are uh, uh, root and uh, talk about uh, foot, foot at athletics footies so as whenever they pass through that position it's uh, uh, from the, uh, the foot so whenever they get into this position now they are just from this area here they are now dropping themselves into this position getting out through that area so that's how things are, ge are being performed into this position and that's how things are running so we're going to be having a little of uh, the time to see if we have other management that has been done into this area so we have uh, uh, public latrines and public uh, toilets into this position we are using water from uh, the tanks into that position wow they are so, this is from uh, management of uh, the government of Kenya. And here guys, uh, this is where we have uh, uh, animals if they want to drink water. If uh, they have, uh, maybe we talk about, uh, they want to drink water. It is not a must that they go to uh, the dam. They have to come to this position. So it was uh, set into this position so as uh, uh, they can drink from here water. And uh, it's very clean and it's changed daily. So. We have a system here that uh, it's bringing water inside so whenever you open into this position it's uh, by now it's locked but uh, whenever you open here we open water coming in because we have the pipings from these are the pipings from the main tower which has some solars and some tanks there and uh, what is uh, it's detective because uh, whenever it goes a little bit low it detects and it pumps water from uh, the dam towards uh, uh, the tower and from the tower it comes to this section so this is the piping that uh, it's controlling the deep inside there and also it's uh, controlling uh, this system and to this position here so we have uh, this is uh, an area of uh, only cow so we have another system onto this position that uh, you can even see wow look at this so onto this position whenever you open this seal it means that uh, this water is driven out from this position through we have a pathway here and uh, it goes out uh, to the river so this is a controlled tower of uh, uh, removing water from this position so this is called an outlet onto this position wow so guys uh, that's how we have uh, a little bit of the programs that are running from our area here in Nyabuanse, and this is where water is dependent from uh, accessing to Nyabuanse. so uh, this is where even uh, we had some practice before i came to be a fish farmer this is what inspired me to go and get uh, some fish because uh, uh, the government was talking about uh, if you have a place relevant for uh, uh, getting some fish you want to be supporting you and uh, you getting like uh, you getting fish but uh, whenever i dug out a fish pond i got that <laughs> the government was lying to us so that's how we are just going on but here we have some guavas hey hey and look at how kids are just hanging these government properties <laughs> government properties we have a um, hey, much much of uh, the guavas inside here Wanna be calling the soldier and uh, wanna be giving me a little bit of the time to come and eat guavas inside here. I like guavas too. Wow. So, guys, uh, I'm now leaving this position so as uh, I can bring you this vibe one on one from this channel 
and uh, this is how the development is coming out from our area Nyabuhanse and uh, the main aim that I just came here is to show you that uh, I want to be practicing fish farming and uh, more specifically having some cages stock them onto this dam very very soon very soon and this gonna be another inspirational because uh, I have a hint and I have a knowledge more relevant for fish farming and I wanna do that so this is the main road that uh, is coming through from uh, the main road to uh, access this position and uh, this is the only road that's uh, reaching here very shortest road <laughs> it's like uh, 100 meters only from uh, the main tamak road and uh, the tamak road is just in front here so it's the shortest road maybe in kenya <laughs> i can speak about that the shortest road in kenya 100 meters only and it's uh, it's done exactly Wow, the road is just in front here. Wow, look at how the climate looks like from this position. Even the dam, you can even see it from this area. Wow. Let me reach to the road, guys. Then, uh, wow, I see how things are running outside here from uh, the dam. You don't have more much people passing through this position. It's a secret and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called like uh, you can talk about uh, is a private part. So no one has that allowance of coming to this area. No one without an acknowledgement. This is the mode of uh, the stay, the mud house. Wow. Uh, firewood sailing into this position. So the main road is here. This is the main road and uh, it's coming from Migori to Nyabuanse and now I'm just heading to Nyabuanse because Nyabuanse is up it's like uh, 500 meters from where I am and uh, I'm now heading to Nyabuanse to see how things are running so this is the main road it's called uh, the North Great Road it's coming from uh, uh, talk about from Kenya to uh, Lagos Nigeria exactly to Lagos, Nigeria. So this is called an, a Great North Road. It was constructed by the Italians. It reached here in 1996. I was not yet born because the history entails. It can never be uh, drafted. So it's there. 1996, they reached here, the Italians. So this is called a Roman road. Exactly. Not a Macalan. It's a Roman road. It was constructed with the ratio of the Roman road and uh, other places we have Macalan roads, so we have two types of roads here, exactly. So, and also it depends with the, we talk about uh, uh, the, 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 the size and the commercial purposes of the road. We have uh, B1, B2, we have uh, the normal roads and something like that. So we have more much about uh, what is happening here. And here in Kenya, whenever we see a very big road like this, there's an important business or it's an important road ever possible from that position. By now, everything is Wagwan. See you guys, next video is coming out very, very soon. Keep it in touch, keep it locked. As I hope from this, even this position, you can even see the dam. It's down there where I've just come from. Maybe you can just spot from here. Let me check. Yeah, it's there. 
it's there down there so you can even spot it from this position it's there wow the climate here is very awesome so guys uh, whatever you are bye bye see you in the next video coming out episode 5 watch it it's coming out more abruptly keep it in touch keep it locked my fish pond is like two kilometers from my home to ayamarwa is like a, it's the same two kilometers uh, difference between now the road will just pass through wow the maize plantation wow i like this so i have to go for for short call because uh, here it's nature guys we have to bear with the circumstances wow here it's nature wow i like this the village is more famous wow fantastic so i have to seal my everything here make sure that everything is very compost check after use fantastic look at the beans i told you guys uh, we have uh, beans planted alongside the maize plant so look at this it's just planted and it's always a uh, now it's a harvesting time of beans and to this area if you wanna need beans guys very fresh from uh, the shamba direct from the uh, we talk about from the garden direct but me guys i don't pass through roads i trespass through maize sha, sha, sha. Eh, here this is uh, to scare birds and also to scare uh, we have monkeys so whenever it's uh, whenever it's a windy day you say to scare some monkeys and also some birds so you can never find some birds coming to eat the maize because uh, look at this you can just find yourself uh, uh, or they just uh, get inserting to them and spoil so guys uh, here it's shortcut pass through the maze whenever you follow the pathway it's gonna be long wow look at these guys i was just talking about wow so they are just uh, tied onto the maze because uh, it's about to uh, talk about uh, it's about uh, uh, to be harvested look at how big it is so that's how they just time them to scare some birds and also monkeys wow it's a very big plantation here and uh, people are exercising here so that's how i'm just passing through this position to show you the shortest route to nyabuanse wow and i'm going to nyabuanse live life to show you how whenever the local boys village boys from uh, eh, Adam Daddy, only God knows, Jesus. Yeah, guys, here in Africa, it's totally different. That's why we were Maro always talked about, uh, always told Rocio here in Africa, it's totally different because uh, you can trespass from uh, any place, you can even cut from any place. I'm just showing you as a uh, an example here in africa how we always do things you can pass through any way and you can just reach the road so it's only you to select if you have like gumboots or uh, uh, you are to somewhere else if uh, you are so clean just follow the pathway but uh, if uh, you are like me now it's like an adventure look at this it's like an adventure pass through anywhere wow and you go and join and uh, get some roads here. Wow. Let me now join the road. The road is here, guys. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic. Now up to the road. Wow, God, I like this. So I'm just heading to, heading to Nyabuansa a little bit to check how things are gonna be moving and to this position. And everything is very awesome. So from here, it's a little bit uh, like uh, some five minutes, oh, not even five, like uh, some three minutes. Then I'll be. Hello, Mugopo. Say hi to you. Hi to you. 
So this is the shortest road because whenever you pass through the, the main road, it's gonna be so long. We are going to the stage. But I want to enter through where the basement is because uh, the village boys, we are just uh, entering through this basement here. So we're gonna be taking a look. Wow. This is where I am a manager, the church to I am a manager. This is the area. Wow. I like this road. The construction, guys. Look at how the construction. Wow, I like this. It is 18.15 It's approaching time 18.15 It's in the evening time So I'm just rushing to check and everything is running Then I come back home Wow Yeah, even like this it is not a Amaro who has any problem Look at this Only the poles are just hanging Wow, I like this position So this is the shortest Shortest road and uh, I've just decided to use the shortest road ever possible to Nyabuansi. Exactly. From here now, you can even start to see more much of uh, the construction. It's gonna be a very big vlog, guys, from a uh, village to Nyabuansi. Live life. No corner cornering. Wow. This is Nasto's place. Even you can see Jamaica here. Wow. Huh. I told you guys, 1816. So it's like uh, two minutes, then you are in to Nyabuanse. Live life. Yeah, they are just uh, beans and everything is so fantastic let me check to the hospital first then uh, i'm gonna be having a leisure time to explore a little bit then i'll be showing you more about whatever is coming out from nyabuan's life like wow this is the entry at least guys uh, and to this position you can just talk about uh it's a very short is a very short road to access so i'm going to uh, street food a little bit then i check how things are gonna be moving into this position eh. Hi. <laughs> wow my brakes is onto the street food wow yeah answer now The Virginia area, guys, is on that position. Wow. <laughs> 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 